Well, hello there. How are you? I hope you're doing good. Today, I'm taking you guys on a road trip. Uh, we're going to the beach with my mom's car. Yeah, I know it's crazy that I got a license. I don't even know who allowed that to happen. But uh, yeah, I'm actually a pretty good driver. I know that sounds crazy. I was running up and down the block. Crazy little girl. Yeah, kind of like J-Lo, you know? <laughs> Did you get the reference? Reminds me like when I was 16 in the Bronx, running up and down the block. A crazy little girl. I'm running super late. It's 2 p.m and the sun sets at like seven, so you know, I wanna be there before the sun sets. And uh, yeah, I'm in a hurry, so I'll talk to you soon, like ASAP, basically now. Uh, yeah, bye-bye. I also wanted to show you my outfit. I have this like Carhartt t-shirt, Carhartt jeans, damn, <laughs> that's embarrassing. Keys here, and oh, my Solomons, you see? Yeah, I'm ready to go, I look like a dad. Yeah, I could be someone's dad, or daddy. Anyways, let's go. Before I leave, I have to find my cat. Uh, she's somewhere in the house. Here she is, she's actually in my sister's room. Who do you think you are? Are you paying the rent here, girl? <laughs> you can't stay here. This is not the place for you, okay? Say hi to the camera, hi. It's such a good day today in Sardinia, like it's 26 degrees Celsius, I think. And I want to show you how it looks like outside because it's super sunny. It looks like a summer day or something. That's the car we're taking. <laughs> it's like a old Volkswagen, 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 whatever. I don't really know much about cars, but yeah, this is where I live. This is my house. As I said, it's a super nice day. There's some wind, but nothing major, you know? Uh, there's my car again. Now we're gonna hop onto it and off we go. I'm afraid that Kika is gonna have to stay outside today. Uh, she wants to get in so bad, but when I'm not there, I don't trust her because she's a trifling... Yeah, you understood what I'm saying. Also, this is like a typical car that we have in small towns in Sardinia. If you know, you know. I think I have everything I need. I took like a towel, swimming trunks. I don't think I'm gonna need them. Oh, I need to play the music. That's what I need. So yeah. Beyonce's new album just came out and I'm really excited to listen to it. And I think that today is gonna be like the right time. The place we're going is Orose. It's a town like on the east coast of Sardinia and I always go there in the summer. I also have like lots of friends from there. Lots. <laughs> I don't have lots of friends, but you know, a few friends. So I love going there. The beach is really nice. It's kind of a old people town, but uh, that's kind of what I like about it. Like I go there and it's never too pretentious. It's just like chill relaxing and I think it's the perfect place to go to when like you just want to detach from everything else you just need to like disconnect and also be by yourself very romantic okay now we really need to go because it's super late as I said I'm gonna play some music there is this like old mechanism you know you basically like connect your phone to your car this way yeah don't forget to wear your seat belt it's really important all right, off we go. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Maybe I'll show you some clips from the you know road trip uh, in the car, but I don't wanna show too much because I'm also driving and I wanna be safe. And yeah, I wanna be like a good example, okay? So talk to you later. Never gonna love. Okay, I'm recording from my phone now. I don't think you have any idea of how hot it is here. I'm literally sweating, like I had to turn on the AC. The countryside's looking real pretty today. <laughs> I don't know what to talk about. Okay, we're like at a gas station now. I think I'm gonna stop to get some water because I'm really thirsty. And uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll take you with me, maybe. Girl, the road was insane. Like there is a lot of uh, deviations. There are basically like restrictions on the road. So 
it did make my trip way longer. We're kind of close to where we have to go, but now I just wanted to stop to, you know, get something to drink and record something because I don't feel like safe enough to record while I'm driving. It's also not that smart, as I said before. Honestly, it doesn't look like a place where I would stop to get some water. Like, it looks like there's weird people inside, but I might, because I'm really thirsty. Okay, I just got here. Needless to say that I didn't stop to get the water bottle because there was like this weird guy that was looking at me while I was filming and I sort of got nervous. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna drive off. And here we are now. So I'm really excited because like it looks super nice. It's a little windy. So my hair is definitely gonna get messy. That's something I don't really like. But anyways, uh, let's just go. Okay. Here's my car, by the way. <laughs> She made it out alive. I can't be wearing these shoes, so I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna wear these ones instead. They're the ones that I used like last summer. The wind is making it like super cold, so I think I'm gonna have to wear a jacket. Thank God I brought one. I'm definitely not gonna be able to jump in the water because <laughs> no. This is the jacket, by the way. Um, it's a Levi jacket. I got like my little tripod. Uh, I got my car keys, I think. Hope I didn't forget those. Uh, but yeah, we're walking like towards the beach now. You see like the beach is over there. Here's this river. And like over here, there's the, the forest-ish. So yeah, we're going towards this direction. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. The sea sounds really angry. I'm definitely not gonna get in the water now, like 100%. It's also super pretty, there's like flowers blooming oh hell no i am never getting into these waters i'm telling you i'm no little mermaid or little merman we can talk but uh, i'm definitely not jumping in this water do you see this i swear it's like super pretty in the summer but for some reason, I just picked the wrong day, I think. But we're gonna make it work anyways. I hope you can hear me because there's a lot of wind. Thank God I have like the rabbit uh, furry thing for the microphone. But I think we can make it work anyways, somehow. I'm also low-key afraid of like the beach. Like I love the beach, but like when it looks like this and when it sounds like this, just not for me, you know? Love it, but I also love to keep a distance. Okay, I'm gonna have to say something. I think that my road trip to the beach kind of failed cause the weather is definitely not <laughs> ideal. I thought like the water was gonna be calm and that it wasn't gonna be windy, but you know, things don't always go the way you plan them. So I'm wondering if I can just like take a walk in the forest and also like I didn't get uh, extra batteries for my camera because you know <laughs> cameras are expensive and I forgot to like buy extra uh, freaking batteries so I don't know how long this vlog is gonna last I hope it's gonna last long enough hopefully like I'll be able to record enough things for today I'm gonna take a walk now as I said and then I'm gonna get back in my car and I don't know we can talk from there I'm like really not enjoying what the wind has been doing to my hair like do you see it so much effort wasted for a vlog like this i swear to god like but maybe maybe the ones that just go like in a direction that you think is wrong are actually the best ones like maybe when i'm gonna edit this vlog i'm just gonna think like wow it's actually really pretty i wanted it to be like super natural really spontaneous so i think we're there so I ended up just sitting in my car. I feel like it's really cozy here. I can talk, you know, we can have a little deep conversation. I was thinking about yesterday, I made a video uh, about like growing up queer in Sardinia and how like that has affected me. Uh, and it sparked like controversy. Like people from here were really like, I don't know, either fighting for it, like for me and for what I was saying, or they were like completely against what I was saying. They were like, that's not true. It's not like how people actually experience it. Like I have gay friends that uh, are totally okay. Like you're making shit up. And I'm like, I'm not making anything up. You know, like what I'm saying is based on my experience and on like what I've observed 
from other people but anyways i don't really care because it's getting me more followers so how does the saying go bad press is also good press or something i don't know by the way i forgot to tell you that i did listen to beyonce's album and the songs that i liked the most were the one uh with miley cyrus but what's it called two most wanted i think and then we also have bodyguard i think uh, it has like Taylor Swift's vocals, so it's particularly good for me. I really should do this more often, like I'm used to solo traveling and I don't go into cafes alone. I find it very relaxing, like sometimes I just need to hang out with myself and be in my zone, you know? Although I'm super social, but sometimes I need to recharge my social batteries. But for some reason here in Sardinia, like I've never felt comfortable enough to do that. You know, even, I don't know, just getting my camera now with me and going somewhere to film is something really big for me. It's not something I'm used to. Even my mom was like, you should do that. You know, you should just go like around town where I'm from. And I'm like, oh no, I can't do that. Like, you know, I can't be looking all influencer in my town. It's kind of like uncomfortable for me to imagine myself in that position. I'm also not so sure about like the direction that I'm going with this YouTube channel. I love it and I have some things in mind but it's really hard to like keep it going and be consistent with it because I also you know have med school and I have my friends who don't really do these things like they're not really into the influencer content creation world you know so it's kind of hard for me to figure out a way to make everything work in my life and take care of my youtube channel but i'm definitely like working on it and i'm forcing myself to be more consistent because i really like it and i feel like sometimes i let myself procrastinate just because i'm holding myself back and i, I i'm afraid to get out of my comfort zone and i'm also a perfectionist and i want everything to have like a meaning you know and i want it to be perfect but honestly like sometimes the best things are the ones that are just like spontaneous natural so this is what this vlog is all about about like spontaneity and trying to you know show up for yourself finding stuff to do like I'm literally sitting in my car but you know I'm still posting I'm still uploading on YouTube so that's what matters it's around 4 35 I was just reading some of the comments that they have left like on my TikTok and on my reel it's the same one about like growing up queer in Sardinia and honestly like I'm just shocked by how many people are feeling comfortable enough to share their experience like i feel like i really did something good because no one ever even dares to say a word about it you know here they may not be as violent as they are in other places with like oppression but there's also this situation in which like you cannot talk about it like it's not something that people acknowledge uh, you just have to hide your identity and so like i'm just reading like the comments of so many of the boys and girls that went through the same things I did or worse and they're just saying like how good it is that I'm actually talking about this because no one even you know wants to talk about it maybe they don't have the courage honestly I do feel like I'm a little privileged because I have a family that supports me I live abroad you know I'm a little older like I'm 20 24 and I already dealt with those things before so it doesn't really touch me if people like I don't know say bad stuff about my sexuality or my identity you know so I felt like also since I had a platform that I could share this with to just speak up about it because I'm tired of seeing like people younger or older than me going through the same stuff I did because no one speaks about it you know it's just really bad you know and I felt like I needed to do that although I've never been like super attached to Sardinia. I love my family, I love going back here to visit them and in the summer it's quite nice but I never felt that like attachment to the place I was born in. Yeah. Also hold on, why is that guy over there kind of cute? I see you. You're looking at me. Yes, you. Okay, never mind. I think he's straight so. It's also starting to get chilly. I feel like it's time for me to head back. I'm gonna get you know my shoes back on because I can't drive with freaking sandals Birkenstocks dupes because they're not actual Birkenstocks I bought them I don't remember the brand whatever irrelevant and I'm just gonna play my music and drive back I love driving because I don't really get to do it you know in Bucharest and if I were to do it it would be a nightmare because the traffic is insane so okay we're ready to drive back I don't know it was a good day it was a good afternoon here out 
Can you even see me? I don't know. I think you can. Yeah. I didn't stay at the beach much, but you know, at least I got to spend some quality time by myself. I also got to test this new camera that I bought. So I'm pretty pleased with it, one might say. I just need to find the right song to play. Hold on. Wow, this road is kind of rocky. I hope my camera doesn't fall off. It's not rocky, it's bumpy by the way, I used the wrong term. I feel like we should end this vlog here, like maybe we can talk again once I'm back home. But like, you know, now I'm driving, yes, I'm a little more confident with filming and driving because I'm getting used to it. But you know, I don't wanna risk it or whatever. I'm just gonna keep driving, get home. My camera is also dying. I think we have like 15% battery left. So I think it's smart to just, you know, prevent any problem. I think we should talk when I get back to my house, okay? Mwah. Talk to you later. <laughs> Girl, finally have arrived. It takes me like 50 minutes to get there. Uh, maybe even like an hour, especially with the traffic. It was definitely a super cute day. And I don't know what to do with my time now because like the camera is almost dead. It will be dead soon. I'm probably gonna charge it, which is also gonna take long, like I don't know, two hours, something like that. Uh, yeah, this camera takes a lot to charge. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit, eat something maybe, and chill until like it gets fully charged. For the moment, let's just get off the car. Okay, let's go. I don't wanna like... This is my house, but I wanted to show you because it's super pretty in the spring. Everything's green. There's a lot of nature here around. And also like here. Actually trying to find my girl. Kika. Kika. I don't think that Kika is here. She's probably at the door. Ah, there she is. Hi. Damn, look kind of pretty with this light. Uh, but yeah, we just got to my place as you can see. I think we should end this vlog here. It's probably smarter because like I wanted to continue it but i want to see like how the camera is doing you know because i wanted to test it out i hope you're not gonna be mad at me because i'm doing so thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed the video and please subscribe to my channel don't forget to you know, like share and do all that and also to connect with me on my platforms like instagram and tiktok uh, which you can find the link somewhere here in the description have a great one okay see ya